Welcome to this VetVine Small Animal Specialty Mashup, brought to you by the VetVine Specialty Consulting Service, veterinary specialists sharing trusted information leading to excellent care for pets. In this segment, we're discussing chest tube placement to be presented by Dr. Elisa Mazzaferro. I'm Dr. Elisa Mazzaferro, and today we're going to demonstrate how to place a thoracic drainage catheter with the over-the-wire technique. In the Myla thoracic drainage catheter kit, there are two various size introducer catheters with needles. There's a J wire through which you'll place into the catheter. You'll remove the catheter and then place the thoracic drainage catheter over the wire. We'll demonstrate this. In the Myla catheter, there are various lengths with fenestrations up to four or eight centimeters, depending on the size of the patient. For the ones that are fenestrated up to four centimeters, use this for a kitten whereas fenestrations up to eight centimeters are more appropriate for a large cat or a dog. There are also radio opaque lines that you can see and judge the length of the catheter to facilitate placement. And it's important to note a couple of special features with the J wire. First, note that the J in the J wire is very soft and once it's in the thoracic cavity, will curve to prevent penetration of the lungs or any blood vessels. Secondly, there is a groove that helps facilitate the pushing of the wire into the thorax through the needle. We'll demonstrate this. Once the catheter is in place within the thorax, the catheter can be secured to the skin with these grooves and suture. Second, loops of suture can be placed through the holes in the wings and then secured to the patient's skin. Once the tube is inserted into the thorax and the J wire is removed, either fluid will flow or immediately secure the lure locked adapter. Note that in this particular adapter there is a valve which prevents air from entering the thorax. The mylocentesis valves come with and without an injection port. The valve is secured into place with the lure lock adapter and can be used to suction fluid or air from the patient's thoracic cavity. A benefit of using the centesis valve with the injection port is that one can instill lactated ringers or warm sterile saline, for example, to lavage a pyothorax, or can be used to instill local anesthetic, such as bupivacaine or lidocaine in a patient that is having pleural pain. So now we're going to place the myla over-the-wire chest tube or thoracic drainage catheter. The patient's head is going cranially and the tail is going caudally. Here we've clipped and aseptically scrubbed the lateral thorax from dorsal midline to ventral midline. Remember that this patient is sedated with just a local anesthetic block. Ideally, we want to in place the catheter in the seventh to ninth intercostal space. The placement of this catheter does not require any tunneling. Here, we're at the ninth intercostal space and I'm going to insert my introducer needle and then catheter directly into the thorax. Next, we're going to directly insert the J wire into the hub of the catheter. It's important to seat this straight, otherwise there will be drag and the J wire won't go through the catheter easily. And then holding the wire in place, withdraw the introducer, and then secondly, 
withdraw the introducer catheter. Some individuals will then replace the J-wire hub to use this as a dilator to open up the skin to decrease drag on the catheter as it's inserted into the patient. My preference is to make a very small nick incision using a number 11 scalpel blade and the wire as a guide. Here, we've nicked the skin ever so slightly to decrease tissue drag on the catheter as it's being inserted into the thorax. Never let go of the guide wire. Now we're going to insert the proximal end of the catheter over the J wire pushing the J wire through the catheter until it comes out the proximal port of the catheter. Now the J wire is through the proximal port of the catheter and once that is in place the catheter can then be pushed over the J wire into the thorax. Note that you can use the radio opaque lines and the fenestrations to determine how far to insert the catheter into the thorax. Once the catheter is securely in the thorax, the J wire is removed. Fluid will then leak from the, the pleural space or you can immediately attach the adapter by securing into place, noting that the adapter has a valve to prevent air from leaking into the thorax. Once the catheter is in place, there are two methods for securing the catheter. First, I secure the catheter to the skin using the butterfly phalange. And then secondly, securing suture into the grooves around the hub of the catheter itself. Now the catheter is secured in place and can have a telfa or light gauze placed over it and then bandaged to the thorax. To remove the tube, the sutures can simply be cut and then a light gauze placed over the entrance site and the tube pulled. Now, there can be a light bandage placed over for 24 hours.